Hi there, welcome to another video. Um, today I'm just going to be reviewing the Off-White Jordan Powder Blue and we're going to go through a few ways you can cop. Um, I think they're going to be dropping on the sneakers app on May the 30th. Um, it says it here. Um, I've also read in a few other places and heard from a few other sources that the May 30th releases, sorry, purely for the Nike sneakers app and there's other retailers such as End that will be getting them on June 23rd. And you can also expect retailers like Socialism, Soulbox, um, sneakers and stuff, that sort of like the raffle sort of um, sites to get them on that day too. Um with Off White, I reckon we could see him drop on the same day as Nike because there's quite a strong, you know, um, correlation between Off White and Nike. They tend to drop at the same time. Say if there's a Nike draw, which I imagine there will be for these, um, as soon as the draw is done, like 20 30 minutes after, they'll drop on Off White. Or they might drop before, you don't know. It's quite random. But we can actually get some sort of head start on Off White. Which is basically if you type in off white. Um, my advice for the off white store is type it in in Google and then go to it through Google on release day because I think if you I find myself when you just type in the URL it blocks you or it goes slow or whatever. So as soon as you get to the off white site, log in and I'm gonna go through why later. But just log in, um, hit Nike. Um, and it should show you like the sold out Nike releases and that's a good thing because then we know we're on the right page so it does here um, what we want to do is get the Chrome extension called page monitor and what you can do is just type in visual ping on the search in the Chrome store and then it's the last result called page monitor if you watch one of my previous videos I show you exactly where it is and etc um, here what it does is it notifies you if there's any change in the page so what I would do is I'd set it up for this specific section of the website you know this part of it because um, that's where uh, where this off-white Jordan is because that's where the new trainers tend to load up in this left side of the screen so set it up on the Nike part of it on for this side of the screen and then if there's any change it will notify you in an email you enter it so make sure you keep an eye on your email um, another thing to look out for is Offspring on Instagram they do raffles and such um, they might have already done it there's a picture of DJ Khaled with the Jordan and people are asking for backdoor and all that that might have been the raffle picture but I don't think it was so if you head over to their Instagram have a look at it comment on every photo they post because trust me it's worth it i've won it myself um sorry about all the international subscribers i have or viewers that's just for the uk unfortunately so yeah if you're in the uk go check out offspring on instagram now then of course nike is probably going to be the retailer with the biggest stock i don't think it'll be like the converse ones how they dropped on nike.com and it was a surprise and all that. Uh, I think they'll drop on the sneakers app. And the way to get there is just type in Nike.com. Go on to men's. And there's a sneakers launch calendar. So as you can see here. This is where they dropped the most hyped shoes. The homages over here. Did a how to cop guide on them. A limited resale really. But if you're looking to buy for yourself. Then get a pair now. Because they're going to rise substantially. So basically when we get to the Nike page um, it's obvious that there's no Jordan on there. Don't expect that to be there till the 28th. And uh, just a quick point on resale. Expect it to be huge. I mean in and around a grand. So yeah um, whatever you're doing if you're reselling it if you're keeping it this is really just an important trainer and you're going to want it. No one's going to want to be playing resale for it. And if you are getting it purely for resale, I don't think there's many better trainers out there to do it for. 
So anyway, moving on. Um, say if this is your first time on the Sneakers app, what you're going to want to do is just go to the top right of the screen and where it says join slash login, just hit that. So once you've pressed join or login or whatever, um, at the bottom where it says not a member, join now, press that and then you'll come to this screen here. You'll need to enter an email, password, etc. You can keep all this information the same. Basically keep everything the same except for the email. So say if my email was william at gmail.com, what I've done is I've inserted a plus one before the at and that registers as a new email address. Nike think it's a new email. But really, it's the same one, and any email I get off night goes to that account. So that's what's great about it. And for every account you make, just do plus two, plus three, um, just so it's all methodical and you can keep track of the numbers that you've used. And basically, once you've done that, you'll need to get it verified. And basically, with verified accounts, what I've seen people do is they try and use the same number twice, say if they use their personal number for one account, it gets verified, great. They do it for another one, it gets verified, they think they've got two verified accounts. You haven't, what you've actually done is unverified both of them. And you'll see it next time you try and log in or on release day, you think you've got those two accounts sorted. When you go to buy it, it'll ask you to sign in. Once you do so, it'll ask you to verify the account again. So once you use a number for something, just leave it. It'll be verified for a few months. You'll be all right. So a way to get new numbers is just to go to Google, type in Vodafone free SIM. And it's quite self-explanatory. We're just going to get a free SIM off Vodafone. And we're going to use the number for that to verify our accounts. I've been doing it for a while. You can order so many. They don't pick up on it. I think I've ordered like 20, 30 and nothing's happened to me. So you just scroll to the bottom here, you select the free one, uh, fill it all out and then you can even ask for two sims on delivery. It takes around two days to get it delivered. It's the 21st today so you've got plenty of time to get those sims in and get those accounts verified. Um, that's it for now really that's how you can get multiple entries in for the sneakers app but I just remembered I didn't go through the off-white um, reasoning for logging in and basically I'll just take you through that now um, basically when we log in uh, what we're gonna want to do we do that because say if we try to buy something we get it in our bag we're trying to process the payment and it's not working you know we're getting them payment loops what you do is you open up a new chrome user and log in from that other chrome user and then it should already be in your bag and that's like a little fix over it it does work most of the time so give that a try guys and another thing i want to mention is you need a chrome a new chrome user per account so like every Nike account you make, you're going to need a new Chrome user. If you don't know what I'm on about, check my channel out. I've got a video called The Multiple People Jig Explained. It takes you through how to make Chrome users, you know, the benefits of it and all that. But basically, they give you new cookies, which means you can go on the Nike site multiple times. It's hard for them de to detect it's the same person. And that's the benefits of it, really. Um, what you're also going to want to do is get yourself a VPN just so they can't track your uh, IP address. Um, the one I use successfully, I'll just take you to the Chrome store. Um, I, if you just type in Hotspot Shield. Um, this top one here, this is the one I use quite regularly it's free and it's it's effective it works so basically you want a hotspot on like all of your chrome users when you use them and then that'll just protect you from getting blocked from nike.com that's all for now guys um i think i'm gonna do what i did last time and closer to the time bring out a complete really complete guide on how to cop on release day that's all i hope this helps let me know if you've got any questions. I'm loving the views and subscribers, all the comments. Um, thank you.